Insecurity. God will not forgive Buhari if Nigeria goes to war. Ghani Adams. Hello, my wonderful people. Everybody keeps discussing and talking about how much Buhari has failed. I mean, by now, everybody knows that. I mean, he himself, he knows. In his dreams, you know, even himself, he knows he has failed. Apart from the likes of Garu Bashewu, Lai Mohammed, and uh, Femi Adeshino, who keeps deceiving him, Nigerians are very happy with you. And because of hunger, you know, and the uh, suffering going on in the land, they would have paid some people to come to him and say, ah, so they come and tell, come and tell Oga, he's feeling down that he's not doing well. How is Nigeria? Say, ah, you are doing very well. In fact, you are doing well. You have done well. They give them how much? Maybe uh, 400 or 500,000 Naira, and those ones are happy. You know, instead of instead of saying the truth, they will sell their bet right. Ghani Adams is saying, you know what, well, God, even God will not forgive Buhari. God will not forgive Buhari. Mm. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Breaking news in security. God will not forgive Buhari if Nigeria goes to war. Ghani Adams. The Aremua Akokofo of Yoruba land, Ghani Adams, has warned President Muhammad Buhari against allowing what would trigger another civil war in Nigeria. Adams warned that God will not forgive Buhari if Nigeria witnessed another war due to the current state of insecurity in the country. He made a remark why accusing Buhari of being insensitive to Nigerians' plight over the security threat crisis. Adam spoke at his 51st birthday Thanksgiving program held at the Salvation Savior Ministry, Serubin and Seraphine Church worldwide in Lagos yesterday. He noted that the call for Nigeria disintegration was due to the federal government's inability to address the country's challenges. He accused Buhari of displaying a lack of seriousness and attitude towards the insecurity challenges in the country. Adam said schools are being shot, churches, mosques are not spared. Bandits are gradually leading the country into a state where people can no longer move around. The president seems not to be bothered and oblivious to the idea that anything is going on. What we experience daily now in Nigeria is enough to set the country on fire. A section of the country loading itself over, the, over another section, and you think that is acceptable? Lots has been going on, yet... They seem we should. They said we shouldn't. We shouldn't talk. We should keep quiet and live at peace. I don't understand what the peace is stemming from. That our call for the Oduduwa's nation was done in bad faith. How can you explain the killing, kidnapping, and banditry spray in the north, east, west, and south? One of the greatest problems of this government is nepotism. One being. One begin to wonder why Mr. President is insensitive to the plight of others, especially to the sorrow and anguish of the citizens losing loved ones and bloodshed in the land continue to grow. It is a wake-up call for President Muhammad Buhari to address all these issues in the interest of this country. Else, God will not forgive him. If Nigeria disintegrates further, goes into war, Banditry, kidnapping, terrorism, general criminality have been on the rise across the country lately. Students, residents of some northern states have been the major targets of bandits. Why bandits are adopting and killing some students? Boham is also raining havoc in the northeastern part of the country and Nigerian government do nothing. In the western part of the country, armed headsmen have been attacking communities, killing occupants with farms with farms being the most affected, farmers being the most affected, yet Buhari do nothing. And you think God will forgive him? God will not forgive President Muhammadu Buhari. So my people, now so the matter reach you. Ghani Adams has, I mean, aired his own voice in regards to all that is going on. Say, you know what, eh? God will not forgive Buhari. He will not. Because the current security spree in this country is more than enough. I mean, all that is happening is, is more than enough for, for, for this country, in fact, to go beyond what you can ever imagine. And guess what? Buhari is quiet. He cannot be bothered. All we hear is presidency. 
The presidency, we don't know. Who is the presidency? We don't know. Nobody knows who the presidency is. The presidency are the ones ruling the country. Garu Bashir and the likes of them are the presidency, ruling Nigerians and telling Nigerians that, that uh, uh, they, don't have a, they don't have a right to ask Buhari to address them or to speak to Nigerians. As a matter of fact, nobody should bother Buhari. Buhari will speak to Nigerians when he is ready to speak to Nigerians. Can you imagine that kind of attitude? You see the kind of people who we call, you know, leaders and who are leading Nigerians. You can tell that these are a failed people. And in fact, they are not just failed themselves. They've gone ahead and are making this known to all Nigerians that they cannot be bothered. You see, these are the people who we call presidency, the likes of Garuba Shewu, Lai Muhammad and the rest of them who continue to tell this country in the in the in in the unprecedented killing that is going on. Or don't you know that Garuba Shewu is the chairman of all that is happening? And Garuba Shewu, he knows exactly what he's doing. The chairman of all that is happening. Garuba Shewu, uh, Femi Adeshino and uh, Lai Muhammad and the rest of them are known. They all know what they are doing. They all know how they are, you know, scheming and conniving, you know, doing a lot of things in this country. And yet nobody answers them. They go on, they go, they do their own thing. They continue on their track. Nobody says nothing to them. And the country is going from bad to worse. And everybody is quiet as if all is well. My dear, all is not well. All is not well. I don't think something is done immediately to change the course of what is going on. I don't know where this country is headed. On a more serious note, Nigeria is actually bleeding out and nobody is coming out to say what is wrong, what is going on here. Everybody is quiet. Nobody is bothered about the, 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 the whole seriousness of all that has been going on in this country. Unless we all stand up and tell ourselves the truth and say no to this constant harassment, only God will help us. Only God will help us. I don't know how we are going to get out of this. But the truth of the matter is we owe ourselves the duty to speak the truth and not to allow ourselves to be intimidated. For intimidation is one of their tactics to hold people down and to make people feel that, you know, there is no way forward. But the truth of the matter is, as we continue to speak, the nations of the world will hear and know what is going on in Nigeria. Don't you ever think that your voice is not important, is as important and very, very important. And guess what? This is happening and Nigerians are ready, you know, to, to end this, whether this government like it or not. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.